Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Coca-Cola 150 from Charlotte Motor Speedway. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the race today, uh, we're going to go over uh, the one little piece of news we got. Uh, Creasum there in the number 83 will be driving for Pirate Motorsports this week. Uh, next week we'll, they will have a different driver, uh, but this week here at Charlotte is Creasum making his season or series debut, I should say. The only other bit of news we have is that we have narrowed it down to the drivers that still mathematically have a shot at the championship. Uh, so we'll throw the graphic up here and we'll just go through it. Uh, so we're going to show your points leader all the way down to Trumpet in ninth. Mathematically have a shot at winning the championship for the first season of the BOD series. Uh, just a little side note, kind of funny, a little interesting fact. Uh, Trumpet in ninth, 32 points behind Ricochet, has a three thousandth of a percent chance at winning the title. <laughs> And Raz and David just in front of him have a 4,000% chance. And with that, we will get into the race and we'll get this round started. This is round 9 of 10. After this, we only have Bristol left. So let's see how they do today and see if that points gap gets any closer. Drivers, start your engines. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as they make their way down the back stretch, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're going to get ready to start the ninth race of 10 here in the BOD Series Season 1 here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, can Jordan make up a 10 point gap to Ricochet? Uh, can Mike Fallon come out and make up 16 points? Or Ricochet have a bad day? Will Ricochet win and have a good day? Will the points increase as we go into Bristol? Who knows? But we're about to find out as the cars make their way to the front stretch and get ready to go green here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And they are green. Hayden will lead them to the line and off into one. Jordan ran a little high there in one. Hayden is clear. Hayden to the point here on the first lap. Adam Garcia looking to get underneath Hayden. Won't do it there. Three wide behind him for third. Still three wide as they head into one. That is not where the points leader Ricochet wants to be. Pirate looks like he's going to come out ahead of that. Now Nate's going to try and go to the bottom and follow through. Still three wide. Adam Irish all the way up to the top. Now Ricochet goes up to the top. As Logan will now come to the bottom. Three wide behind him. Adam Irish all the way up to the top again. But Ricochet and Jordan are now... Side by side, or two by two, I should say, behind each other. Nate and Logan both trying to get up here and get some spots early. As Adam Garcia has now taken the lead. Nate is through. Nate is clear. It looks like the bottom line is the preferred line. So these guys probably want to get down. So they don't lose too many spots. 
These are the top three guys in points right here. The 68, the 55, and the 57. Right now, Fallon is out front of all of them. But they're all right there together. Jordan and the 55 need Ricochet to have a bad day. Oh, Jordan looking three wide there. Going to go underneath Ricochet out of two. Three wide down the back with Adam Irish. Irish is also in the points battle. He is sixth. He's a lot. He has a slimmer chance than, say, Jordan. But he is in that battle. As now Jordan goes by Ricochet. is now battling with Adam Irish. As the 55 now go, goes and gets Logan in the 42 for fifth position. Here comes Jordan's teammate, Julia, up to help, possibly. Back out front, it is still Adam Irish, but Pirate Man is running him down. They're two by two here in the back with Garth and Captain Conrail and Vuko. <clears throat> excuse me, Balto and Taco. And they get single file until you get up here to Keith and Eric a step for 13th. Wow, Keith is running 13th. Good little run for that 69 team. Seems like everyone's gotten single file. Ricochet ended up following all the way back to 11th. That is not where Ricochet needs to run. Right now, if Ricochet were to finish there and Jordan were to win the race, Jordan would have a one-point advantage. So Ricochet needs to try and get some ground on these guys. Pirate Man is now to the lead. Pirate Man is now out front leading this group around Charlotte Motor Speedway here in Concord, North Carolina. Adam Irish now looking underneath Logan there. That would be for the sixth position. Jordan going to go to the bottom and hopefully to follow. Mike Fallon around the nine. That'll put the 55 in fourth position. Mike is marching up through the field. Pirate Man is still your leader out front. Jordan now looking underneath the 42. I'm going to try and keep my eye up here on the front because, you know, it, we need to know who wins the race. But we also got to – there's Pace Car. We also got to keep an eye on the championship drivers here as next week is Bristol. That is the championship race. So the points battle is close as Ricochet now has Julia to his outside. Ricochet has it at the line. Ricochet is 10th. So that'd be a position up for Ricochet from what he was in 11th. Julia's going to fight hard here as her teammate Jordan is trying to scoot away and get some positions. Good battle here between Mello and Logan Rock for 8th position. Ricochet gets the spot on the 75. Ricochet will stay in 10th position. 77 of Pirate Man still out front. Lap 12 of 100 here. Long race here at Charlotte. Gonna have to test these guys' patience, uh, their speed, and their pit strategy. Don't forget about the pit strategy. Adam closing up to the back bumper there. I think Adam's gonna make a move here soon. Right on the back bumper as they cross the line for lap 13. Adam Irish now moving underneath Nate. Adam Irish is marching forward. He's got 25 points to make up on Ricochet. But if he has a strong run, who knows what could happen. Ooh, that, that was a tight move there for Jordan, but Jordan's going to look underneath Nate. That would be for fifth position. As they head into two, Jordan will clear Nate. Jordan up to fifth now. Ricochet has now caught the 33. He's going to try to get around him. That'd be for ninth position.
Jordan now underneath Adam Irish. That'd be for fourth. Nate's also looking low. Ooh, I thought Nate was going to go three wide there for a second. Wow, the 55 has caught Adam Garcia and is now going for second place as Jordan moves into fourth. Fifth. Fourth? Fifth. Fifth. I'm confused. That'd be for fifth. Yeah. This 55 is fast. He has shown speed as of late. He's just got to keep it going. Good battle back here between Trumpet and Erica Step. Trumpet is technically in that championship battle. He mathematically does have a shot at winning it. That right there would be for 13th position. Wow, Erica Step having a really good run today so far. There's Ricochet making a move on Mello. That'd be for ninth. Up front here. 55 is making a move under Adam Garcia in 2 3. That would be for third, second. At the line, the 55 had it, but he is not clear yet. As this will help the 16 and the 57 to both catch up. Wow, Adam Garcia drives hard around the outside. And will clear the 55. Mike will have to make another attempt here. I think that 55 is obviously faster at the moment. But Adam Garcia has given him no room. Adam Garcia is not letting him off. Jordan up to the back bumper of the 16. Logan going underneath the 9. This will open the door for Ricochet to follow through and move into 8th, possibly. Well, Nate drove it in hard, but he is not going to get to hold it as Ricochet will clear him and move into 8th. And Jordan is now trying to go around the 16 of Hayden. Hayden was very much in this championship fight until he had a DNF both... Last week at Loudon and at Darlington, that just absolutely tanked him. He has not been able to recover, and now he doesn't even have a shot at the championship. He doesn't have any. There's no scenario where he could get it. Quite unfortunately, that 16 team doesn't have a win this season, but they have been among the most consistent drivers right up there with Adam Irish. I'd say a little more consistent than Adam Irish, but... You know, it's racing. It happens. Pirate still leading. Can Pirate finally get a win? There's been a lot of races here lately where Pirate's been out front and leading, and then it gets taken away from him, either from pit strategy or, you know, he just, you know, the car's not as fast. Keith has fallen way back. He was up there in 13th at one point. He's now running 22nd, just... Underneath the 24 for 21st, if he could get that. There's Brent last week's winner. Uh, this is not what Brent needs. Brent is fourth in the championship points, 22 points behind Ricochet. Right now, he's running 18th, about to get past. So he might be in 19th here as Vuko is now going underneath him into three. Not the race that Brent needs. Oh, Trumpet's on pit road. So is Vuko. Oh, it's pit stop time. I don't believe anyone else is on pit road. We got Captain in the 26, Keith 69, Fuko in the 45, and Trumpet in 12th. Trumpet is the first of the championship drivers to pit. Have to see where Pirate is. Pirate's pitting. So is Adam Garcia. The 55 will not. Mike stays out for another lap. So does Ricochet. So does Creasum, so does Brent, and there's Balto. Keep an eye on Jordan here and see how his team does.
there into his pit stall right behind Adam Garcia. Pretty even, even with the 40. There's Pirate out. Oh, Adam. The two Adams get have contact there. The 40 and the 19 both have contact on pit road. The first one out, though, is Pirate. He was your leader. And there's the 55 and the 68 both in. There goes the 55 out. Now where is Pirate? Where will Pirate stack up? There's Pirate. Pirate going around the outside. Pirate will maintain the lead here. Trumpet. If this works out, it looks like Trumpet might hop a lot of drivers we'll have to see as they come around here there's the 55 yes trumpet is into second what excellent strategy by that 12 team this is exactly what that 12 team needs to try and stay in this championship hunt 1.1 seconds behind pirate Good little battle back here. Good little pack right here between Raz, Captain Taco, and David Garcia. Here's two of your other drivers. The 4 and the 54 both have the same chance. Very slim, but they have the same mathematical chance at winning the championship. So Ricochet ended up losing one spot there in that total exchange. But I think what this shows is that short pitting matters. Uh, Adam Garcia had an incident there, but he came in second, and he is now ninth, one spot behind Keith. Keith jumps up to eighth. We saw Vuko there passing, uh, what was it, Brent back there in 18th position. He's now seventh. Here's Jordan and the 55. And Julia also jumped up there. She is now in third position. She had a good strategy at Homestead and ended up running out of gas on the, not the last lap, but with two laps to go on the back stretch. Can she and her team have the right strategy today? I think the correct strategy and the biggest winner of that whole round was Trumpet and this 12 team. I mean, they were, I think they were back there in like 13th or so, um, but he's second now. That's a big jump up. Good strategy by that team. I think if you're going to win this race, you're going to need to short pit and save fuel. I think that's the way to win this race. But out front, it is the 77 of Pirate. It is lap 30 of 100 here. We have 71 laps to go. I think there's there's a caution out. Well, Adam Irish is on pit road. Looks like something might have happened to Adam Irish. We'll have to go back on the replay there and check. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we found on the replay. Interesting. Everyone's going to come pit. Nobody's going to stay out. Very interesting. That's going to mess. The fuel window there was about 22, 23 laps. Um, so you could potentially make it uh, on three stops, I believe. Oh, 24 got into the 50 there. No, that'd, that'd be forced. Forced. 
Yeah, that'd be four stops because that'd be just short of 25 laps. We should split it up into four segments. There's Pirate. I don't think Pirate's going to be the first one out, though. Julia will be the first one out. Julia beats the 77 off of Pit Road. Then followed by the 55, the 19, who had some, who was there on Pit Road. I don't know what is happening to Adam Myers. Uh, the 45 of Vuko, the 57 of Jordan, the 12 of Trumpet. So Trumpet actually lost some positions there, uh, which is not good because they had some excellent strategy there. Then the 69 of Keith, followed by the 33 of Mello, and the 37 of Alondo. All right, as you can see, they are lined up, and the pace car lights are out. Uh, they are going through three, and they'll come to the line here. Lap 35 of 100. That'll be 66 laps to go. As you can see, Adam Myers there is on the bottom. Uh, the reason for that caution, he is five laps down, unfortunately. And with Irish being only 25 points out, I believe this will end his chances at a championship. Uh, but Julia has control of the field, and Julia will lead him back to green. Be interesting to see what Adam Irish here in that lap car uh, will do. How much he'll affect the field. Julia got out front there pretty good. She is the leader. Good battle back here. So the 55 is going to try and get around the 19. Vuko in the 57. Following the 55 and the 77 here. 55 down to the bottom, and so does Jordan. Jordan will follow through. Get right on that rear bumper of the 55 as they go down the back. Jordan and the 55 are clear. Jordan up to third as his teammate Julia is out front leading this race. There's Trumpet. Trumpet is following through. Trumpet right now in sixth place position. Ooh, Alano got really up close there with Mello off of two. Ricochet is into the pits. Your points leader is pitting. I don't. I don't quite know why. The 68 is on pit road. He's, uh, uh oh, 68 has a problem, I think. Oh, how devastating. Oh, he's off pit road now. But he's going to go a lap down here. As Jordan is now into second, and they are going to thunder by him on the outside. Wow. I can't imagine this would be some type of strategy play. Because... I don't know. I don't think so. I guess we'll have to see. Uh, right now, Ricochet is in 24th, one lap down. That would make, right now, the points leader, Jordan, in the 57. As he was running second to his teammate, Julia. I am baffled by what that 68 team was doing. 68 now two laps down oh man this is going to mix the championship up this is going to be insane so you know assuming the race goes green and assuming there isn't anything crazy that happens right now your points leader is that 57 sitting in second what? I don't... That's wild. Whatever the reason they pit, it's got him two laps down in 24th. And Adam Irish there five laps down in 25th. That is not good. That 25th position will remove the 19 from the championship, as I said earlier. Well, Pirate now going to make a move on the 55. 
as the two dodges are nose to tail here as they rocket around Charlotte one and two real Jordan no Jordan T yeah real Jordan racing whatever Jordan now going underneath Julia into one side by side the two teammates are down the back Jordan is not clear yet Jordan is clear Jordan to the point here at Charlotte passing his teammate Pirate has now gotten past the 55 and will move into third. I saw Mello back there trying to reel wide line. I don't think that'll work out for him, but hey, give it to him for. I, whoa, he got past Trumpet. Mello making the high line work. Come on. As now Trumpet is up there and battling with the 45. Trump is starting to fall back a bit now, running ninth right now. Look at Keith up here. Keith having the best run of his season so far. Got to try and keep an eye up here. As this is the main story at the moment because of the 68. Pitting and now being two laps down in 24th. I'm... I'm not saying that removes him from the championship, but oh my God, is it going to hurt his chances? Holy hell, that is not going to be good for Ricochet. And Ricochet's been the most dominant driver the whole season. Oh man. He's been the fastest driver of the season. He right now is just not in this championship hunt gonna have a lot of ground to make up in Bristol if he can do it I tell you what if he can do it though gonna be some very Tony Stewart-esque vibes as you can see him going around Brent there all the way back in 18th these passes don't matter for Ricochet though as he's two laps down but he is trying to slice through the fields he goes underneath the 16 there now the four you can see Trumpet keeps falling back. Trumpet now in 12th position. No changes up here at the front. The two teammates are still running 1-2. The 57 discount tire dodge in first. And the 75 Roblox dodge in second. Followed behind by Pirate running third. Uh, the 55 right now running second. Adam Garcia, not second, fourth. Second of the championship drivers is what I was thinking. But he's running fourth. Uh, Adam Garcia here running fifth. Uh, Alondo running sixth. Good team for the good run for that 37 team. Mello running. He's running seventh. Still trying to make that high line work. That'd be really cool if he can do it. I love the high line. I love seeing him get up close to that wall. As you can see at the top, we just passed lap 50, or we're on lap 50. Either way, this is the halfway point of the race. Uh, we're not going to cut away. I just wanted to point that out. Julia now trying to get up to the back of the 57. Let's go on board here with the 75. Watch her on a lap here around Charlotte. That was a lap around Charlotte with the uh, second place run in 75. As we look back here in the pack, we can see Trumpet uh, running 11th now. But the more interesting thing is uh, Ricochet is caught up to the 12 now and is 
gonna try and get around him. So Ricochet, that car is fast, but unfortunately they just, I, I, again, I don't know why they pitted, but two laps down, not good for that team. Two teammates there gonna battle the nine and the 12 as Ricochet works his way up through the pack. Up front, it is no different. The 57 is still out front. Um, we're getting to the point now where pit stops should start happening because they they pitted there around like lap 30, lap 31, somewhere around there. And so pit window should be about this time somewhere here. So we're going to stick here with the 57 and see uh, if they come to pit or if anyone in the back pits. And these two are just moving away from the field. Both have about a second lead over Pirate there. We have a taker on pit road, but I believe that is Adam Irish. Ricochet now passed Raz and the 45 of Vuko. That 68 is fast, but he's he's two laps down. Like, I, I just don't know. Uh, Adam Garcia now around the 55 for fourth position. That 55 starting to fade. Speaking of fading, kind of. Jordan is into pit road along with the 77, the 40, the 55, the 94, the 42, the 9, the 12, the 50, the 69, the 24, the 16. The whole damn field is pitting. <laughs> that only leaves a couple drivers out, including the 75 of Julia. The 37 of Alondo, the 68, who is off strategy. Uh, the 33 of Melo, and the 45 of Vuko, and the 4 of David Garcia. Let's jump back up here to who was your leader, Jordan. Jordan is out of his pits. You'll be the first off. That's about the same gap he had with the 77. Julia is now in. So I have to see where she comes out in relation to the 57. I believe the short pitting, if you pit earlier, is going to have an advantage. So we'll have to see here. But the 57 is only in four. 75 just hit the end of pit road. Here comes Jordan. We'll have to see where they cycle out. I think Jordan's going to take the lead here. Yep. Jordan around the outside will take the lead back from Julia. Wow, he's going to have a mighty lead. Julia will cycle into a second where she was. There's the 68 of Ricochet. Ricochet is actually back on the lead lap now, but he's going to have to come pit soon. Actually, he's going to get his wish as we had a wreck here on the front straightaway. Oh, it's the 17. And the four of David Garcia. David Garcia, a championship contender, is out now. Ricochet got his wish. Ricochet got a Ricochet got a caution and is now back on the lead lap. What a save for this 68 team. Now he's just going to have to stay on strategy and work his way up through the pack. Wow, look at them. They wrecked hard off of 4. So as they get caught up here, actually, well, let's see let's see uh if anyone pits here. Again, they just pitted, but I don't, they did it before. Oh, they will stay out this time. Brent will come in. Brent will be the only taker. As Brent has gotten into the wall there, you can see. What a break for this man right here coming into the pits. Your points leader, the 68 of Ricochet. Two laps down, just 
30 laps ago and is now back on the lead lap with that caution. And speaking of the caution, uh, we will now go back and see what happened between the 17 and the 4. Once again, the pace car lights are out, and we're going to get ready to go back racing here at Charlotte. We've got 30 laps to go. We're going to come around to 29 to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Pace car is off. The field is once again in the hands of the 75 of Julia. And green is out. We are back racing. Julia got a good jump, but so did the 37. They're both going to clear the 19 into one. Pirate gets underneath the 57 there. Here comes Alondo underneath the 30, the 75. Wow, Julia drives back up hard on the outside. Julia still holding the point as she drove hard around the outside there to get back around the 37. Ricochet on the outside. I don't think it's where he wants to be, but that's also where Jordan is. Look at this pack of cars as we were coming down here late in the race. Oh, wow. Mello made a risky move. That sent the 55 wide and the 68 wide. Your points leader. The 68, the 57, and the 55 all right there together. These guys are driving hard and not giving up anything. Here comes Captain on the bottom with Balto. 68 really slipping back now. There's 57 of Jordan and the 55 of Mike Fallon all on the outside. So is Alondo. Alondo's now slipping back. Julia has lost the lead. It's now Pirate. But it could be Mello. And Cabin's up here. This is weird. I don't know what's happening. These guys that stayed out, it is not going to help them, it looks like. As Julia is now falling back. And so is Alondo and Ricochet. That's not what Ricochet needs. Three wide off of four. Up front, it is Pirate Man back to the point. Wow, Garth are really off the pace there. Wow, Alondo all the way back to the back of the pack almost. And Ricochet's running 18th. Oh, man. Staying out was not the best decision there. But we do have one more round of pit stops to go, so who knows? They're three wide there off of three with Captain. Captain trying to get up into second place there. That 26 team don't run that fast. What you doing? <laughs> Looks like they're going to sell out. Mello's going to get into third. Second. Damn it, that 19 keeps throwing me off. But Pirate is, for the moment, gone. Pirate has the lead. Because we're getting close to 20 laps to go here at Charlotte. Here comes Nate making a move under the 55. <laughs> As Jordan is trying to keep with the 55 there and try and get past him now. As Jordan is now underneath Mike in three. And out of four, it looks like he will do it. Jordan gets around the 55. Be for a sixth position. But here comes Mr. TT back up on the outside. 
Won't get it there. Jordan is clear into sixth. Pirate is still your leader. And Alondo fell all the way back to 20th. Ricochet in 19th. Julia in 14th. But she looks like she's about to get passed by Vuko in the 45. Brent trying to salvage a day. He's running 11th right now. A lot better than where he was earlier in the race. Brent's currently 22 points behind Ricochet, your points leader. But with Ricochet running that far back and then Jordan and the 55 running up here, this is going to shake things up. We have 20 laps to go here at Charlotte. 20 more laps in what has been a wild race tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've had three cautions. Ricochet at one point was two laps down. Uh, we've had, I don't know how many different leaders. They've been three wide, two wide, wrecking off a four. Uh, it's been a wild race so far. Right now, as Pirate is still your leader, we'll go through the field here. Uh, Garth right now is currently running 22nd. He is the uh, lowest running car that's on the lead lap. Alondo's now into the pits from 21st. Uh, Conrail running 20th. Ricochet there in 19th. Hayden running uh, 18th. Vuko in 17th. Taco in 16th. Julia in 15th. But Julia's going to come to pit here. This could be good, though, if she works that strategy out right. Uh, the 69 of Keith is running 14th right now. Logan is running 13th. Raz is running 12th. Brent in 11th. Trumpet in 10th. And Kreesum in his first ever start running 9th right now. Here with tw under 20 laps to go. Uh, Balto running 8th. 55 of Mike Fallon running 7th. There is Jordan in 6th, Nate in 5th, Captain all the way up in 4th, driving where he hasn't been this whole season. Uh, Adam Garcia in 3rd, Mello in 2nd, and your leader, Pirate Man, the 77, Black and Blue Monster Energy, Walmart, Chevrolet, out front here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. There's Ricochet now coming into the pitcher points leader. That's going to get him, especially Julia here and Alondo there. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to get them close on pit strategy. As earlier in the race, we said the pit strategy was about uh, 25 to 23 laps, somewhere around there. So I imagine these guys might be pitting as well soon. Uh, maybe. I guess we'll see here. Nobody around that time. 75, 77 of Pirates, still your leader. We have got 15 laps to go here at Charlotte. Here in Concord, North Carolina. Jordan now trying to get underneath the nine of Nate for fifth position. Wow, Jordan drove in hard there into three. Jordan will get it. So move Jordan up to the fifth position. Nobody's pitting yet. I don't imagine these guys can stretch it. They're going to have to pit at some point here. Back out front is the 77. Not going to pit this time. Thirteen laps to go. Here comes Jordan trying to catch the twenty-six. His teammate next season over at Real Jordan Racing in the Dodges. Uh, Cap will move over and run uh, his usual number twenty-six, but it'll be in a Dodge. Uh, so Jordan is trying to get around him, his future teammate. Well, oh, Adam Irish making a move on. Pirate, uh-oh, Pirate's going to get, oh, a Pirate I thought was going to get trapped there on the outside, just like he did at Daytona. 
That would have been terrible. Oh, here comes the 97. That's going to slow the 77 way down. <coughs> Excuse me. 77 was able to keep the lead. 11 laps to go here at the line. I don't I I still don't imagine these guys can make it. Garth, Julia, Alondo, the 68, your lead, uh, your points leader Ricochet are all one lap down here. Wow, Jordan get real close to the back bumper there, the 26. Here comes Garth into pit road. Jordan really drafting with the 26 there. They are catching these two. Pirate Man still your leader with 10 laps to go here at Charlotte. Can Pirate finally hold on and win a race? I don't know. I Again, I imagine they have to pit. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. It doesn't look like Pirate will this time as he runs the middle of the track. Nope, never mind. Here he comes. Oh, wow, here comes everyone into the pits. The 54 of Raz and the 42 of Logan. Two guys that have both won races this season off of fuel mileage. Stay out. Pace car's out. That spin? Caution? Oh, man. Everyone just came on to pit road. Oh, dear God. 44 has a lot of damage. 75 has a lot of damage. Julia got into an accident on the back stretch. That'll put Raz, the 42, uh, the 22, the 50, the 69, the 45, the 16, all up front here. As all of these guys are now coming off of pit road. Wow, Jordan had a bad stop there. Jordan's going to lose a lot of spots here. Cabin looks to be the first one off of pit road. How about that? Here comes the rest of the guys into the pits. So these guys stayed out. actually, But they're one lap down. But they're not going to get a wave around because that's not what we do. So they're they're on the lead lap, but oh I oh I'm oh <laughs> while my brain figures this out while we sort this out, uh, let's go see what happened to uh, what I believe was the 75 and the 44 there on the back stretch. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the lights are out. Uh, we're going to come back to green with five laps to go. Uh, you can see the 97 of Garth there is out front, but Garth is actually one lap down. So is uh, the 19, who's four laps down, and so is Nate, one lap down. And then the guys behind him, which would be the 68 of Ricochet, the 37 of Alondo, and the 75 of Julia are on the lead lap, but it's not a wave around. So they're just out front of the leaders, which means for the first time that I can re recall in BOD series uh, season one, your leader is the number 26 of Captain in the McDonald's Ford Mustang. So Captain here will take the green behind these five cars in front of him. He would take the green with five laps to go here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I think Catbird is at 77. I think Pirate wins this race. Uh, we'll see what happens here as Pace Car dives into pit road. 
The green flag is out. Ricochet already going underneath all of them cars. Captain goes to the outside. That was not the best decision here as the 77 is going to move along on the inside. So move the 77 up to the top for number one position. Oh, man, what a heartbreak for that 26 falling all the way back there along with the 40. There will be three wide coming out of the corner. Very tight. Your leader is Pirate with four laps to go here at Charlotte. Can Mello run him down? Can these leader, will these uh, lap cars get in the way? Jordan running second there, or third. Wow, Jordan with a late move there underneath Mello. Jordan with a hard run is going to get up to the back bumper of Pirate as we come to here to three laps to go. Jordan is there. Pirate trying to hold the position. Here comes the 55 as well. All right, these guys got off by themselves. Jordan's going to have a draft here down the back stretch. Whoa! The 55 sent the 68 way wide. 42 is going to move through into second. Two laps to go at the line. Pirate Man still leads this race. Jordan following in tow. All eyes are up front as Jordan is following the 77. As they go through three and four here and will come to the white this time. 77 runs a little bit of a higher lane. Pirate will take the white flag here at Charlotte. Can Jordan make a move here? I think he's going to have to do it in three. Jordan is right there on the back bumper. 77 is still your leader. Into three. Oh, Jordan is right there. Off of four they come. Jordan will not do it. Pirate Man will lead him to the line. And Pirate will win his first ever race here in the BOD series. Jordan will end up coming home P2. Logan Rock there in P3. Uh, the 55 in P4. Taco in fifth. What a run for Taco. Uh, Balto in sixth year. Watkins Glenn winner. Mello ends up seventh. Let's see. Uh, Vuko will end up eighth. GSL gets a top ten. Uh, Adam Garcia in ninth. And Kreezum in his series debut will finish tenth. Further on back, we've got Trumpet in 11th. Uh, Captain, who was leading there on that restart, will end up finishing 12th. Conrail will finish 13th, and Raz will finish 14th. And your championship leader, or what was your championship leader, uh, Ricochet, will end up in 15th position. Uh, Julia, who led a lot of this race, will end up coming home 18th. Of course, earlier as we saw, the 17 and the 4 got into, uh, you know, had their incident there. They'll finish 24th and 25th with Adam Irish in 23rd, five laps down. And with all that, let's throw up the points and let's see where the championship drivers are and, you know, where maybe some other guys caught up in some points.